But yeah, so this is Dick Rose Ruin. It's the latest uh, promo card. It's pretty bomb. Um, there's a lot more going on here than meets the eye. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot protect it with Aegis. Uh, it's a cursed relic, so it goes on your opponent. Um, but let's just read the card. When the cursed player draws an additional card, it deal one damage to them and gain one life. And when one of their units deals damage the turn it was played, kill it. So where this comes into play, obviously, um, cards like Jek um, will now get countered by this. Uh, do it like that. So Jek does damage when he comes into play, usually. So they're going to have to not do this ability or risk uh, losing their Jek immediately. Anything with charge, um, any minions with charge, like Milos or whatever, uh, they'll all die immediately. Anything with killer will have to wait a turn. So if you're going to give stuff killer, you'll have to wait a turn with this in play. Um, stuff like ambush will get worse. Um, well, to be fair though, cards like Desert Alchemist and Scorpion Wasp, um, they're really not going to get messed up by Dick Rose. Um, and that's because, uh, it's going to die in combat anyway. So, um, I'm pretty sure the damage will still happen. Uh, so like they can still use their, uh, they can still use their Jek to kill something, but their Jek will actually die. And, uh, that's pretty solid. I think it actually stops them from getting the treasure too, because the Jek will deal its damage but be dead. So that's pretty cool. Um, other cards this stops are Sling. So whatever reason, the Gunslingers all pop up when you try and type Sling. But uh, this Sling will make it uh, so it deals six damage to an enemy unit, and it's the unit itself that actually does the damage. So. Um, Dick Rose Ruin is a fantastic answer to Sling. Now, to be fair, Sling decks are already on the uh, spam the crap out of Aegis strategy. They're all running four transposes. They're running... A lot of them will be running a lot of Waystones. The, the good old um, Aegis Waystone. So, pull that up. Here we go, Cobalt Waystone. And then, um, other things to watch out for with Dick Rose Ruin. Um, if your opponent is playing Sling, uh, what? <laughs> I guess it's pulling up everything that says Frost. Uh, and they, if your opponent's on Sling and they play a Rost and you have Dick Rose Ruin in play, Rost will actually just keep coming back into play over and over again and dealing six damage to your entire team. And if you've got like a token-y strategy or something, um, be very careful not to go too wide against Sling because uh, Rost will just, in Magic the Gathering, we call it a Plague Wind, but it'll actually come into play and just flicker over and over and over again and just blow up your whole board until it has nothing left to target. So that's bad um, for your health. Uh, and the reason being because it'll enter, it'll deal damage thanks to Dick Rose Ruin and Flicker. So it's just something to keep in mind. If you're playing against a Sling deck, don't overextend onto the board because you're going to lose it, especially if they seem to be really into Mono Primal. Um, and what this probably means for Sling decks is if you're going to do it, you're going to want to be a base Primal list so you can play Rost. Uh, and that's only if Dick Rose Ruin really pops off, but... It has so many, there's so many instances where it's good. It's quite solid. Um, as Needles is saying in chat, um, which apparently I have chat turned off because I'm a terrible person. Let's turn chat back on. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Shrine to Carve It is another excellent um, counter for Dick Rose Ruin. Um, so... Dick Rose Ruin will make it so that the charge half of this just doesn't work. Now, to be fair, sometimes Shrine decks are just one-shotting you anyway, and they don't really mind as much to lose their stuff. But, like, 
it's just something to keep in mind. Um, other stuff, there's a lot of yetis that get shut off by this. Um, quite a few yetis either deal damage when they come into play, or like ping or whatever, um, etc. Now, this is mainly, um, you know, like complete nonbo, which is Womp. Uh, Womp will come into play or die. Or if Womp is already in play, every Yeti they play from that point on just snowballs your face and then dies. So that's pretty funny. Um, and there's plenty of other interactions. But uh, the way I want to use this card, you'll probably see that I have my Merry Mask list pulled up. If you're very well versed, you'll know that in the past, this used to have four Severins in it and a few Reaps. But uh, I have a feeling once I have the full set of Dickrose Ruin... This is going to be the first deck I play with. Um, for now, you can really only play it in a market. So like, you know, like a Blazing Salvo market or really any Shadow market. Uh, which you don't really get access to in an even-handed Golem deck. But I can see... Um, I can see Dick Rose Ruin really popping off um, in a Mask of Torment list. Because you can curve this out and then everyone's playing Treasures and market access, and all this crazy stuff that draws them extra cards. And your Mask of Torment is going to tick up to the moon with that. Now, it is a very dangerous meta to be trying to resolve relics. So, you know, if you're trying to do this, you might want to splash um, potentially Primal for more Aegis. Or wh however you want to do it. But, uh... This is just the first thing that came to my mind, is whenever people are drawing additional cards, this ping is very real. Uh, it makes this card still useful against unit list decks, or like garden decks, because oftentimes they'll have to spend like 5 power on their garden to just blow up your dick rose ruin, and otherwise, you'll sit there and blow off their Aegis every turn of the game. And then uh, your Silver Blade Menaces will be able to connect with their face, or if you're playing like at any cost, you could literally just use Dick Rose Ruin to just clear their Aegis the whole round. And then um, get some nice chip damage in, some life gain to keep you up. And it'll also basically turn all of their charge units into slow units. And then there you go. Like you're set up to like stall, like it'll slow the game down for you. Uh, it makes your hailstorms better. So. Kind of two different decks there. I know I'm in my Merry Mandrake list, but uh, I could see like an at any cost list wanting something like this. Any deck that wants to like, it's shadow based and wants to just keep Aegis off your opponent's face the whole round while also like slowing your opponents down or capitalizing on the life gain really. Uh, this might be a little harder to pull off, but you could, if you can stick a, uh, a Catra in play, <laughs> old Catra actually, um, you can grow your team quite quickly with this. So these are just what I was thinking of. Um, just a quick little overview of Dick Rose Ruin. Once I have the full playset, I'll be brewing with it more. But I just wanted to talk about it and just get my opinions out there. Uh, I'm really happy to see a card like this get printed. You know, if they're going to refuse to nerf Jack and Milos, at least we have like a counter, like a reasonable counter to it. Um, I wish, I wish it wasn't a curse. And was instead just a relic that goes on our face and like affects our opponent. Um, this could mean that like, you know, I'm mentioning all these kinds of decks to the contrary, but uh, you could play this in a curse list. So like, there are definitely decks that are like curses matter. Um, most of them are in Justice and Primal. But if you decided to splash Shadow, you do to get a few options. So you could play stuff like Arch Griffin, Patriarch. Uh, Pearl's Choice lets you fetch it up if you want it. So honestly, what we could do is if we wanted to play a Justice Shadow Primal list, or Primal Shadow Justice list, or Shadow Justice Primal, whatever. Uh, <laughs> you get what I'm saying. One of these factions... Um, we could actually still play Dick Rose Ruin as a one-of in our main deck, and we can just Parole's Choice it up whenever we want it, um, which is pretty sweet. Uh, if you're playing Time, Primal, and Shadow, 
you can fetch it with uh, that three cost spell. Um, pull it up here. Relic. Uh, the display. We'll go over to the display here. Um, display of knowledge. So display of knowledge can also fetch it. So there's a lot of options if you want to fetch it and a lot of different strategies you could slide this card into. And it could just be a one of, but you just pull it out whenever you want it. Um, you could also do what I was kind of thinking, which is toss it in like a Mask of Torment deck and just jam four of these bad boys. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, and this will be an interesting card to see in both Expedition um, and in Throne. So that's just my thoughts on Dick Rose Ruin. Pretty sweet promo. I'm excited to see what the rest of them are. I'll probably try and give my thoughts on each and just potential decks for them to go in. Um, and then, you know, if you come hang out on the stream or in the Discord, I'll post decks um, there just using the new promos. So... That is all for that.